The Healing of the Cripple and the Raising of Tabitha by Mazzolino. The painter shows in a single scenic space two important miracles performed by Peter. The scriptures tell us that they occurred in two different cities, the first in Jerusalem and the second in Joppa. Turning toward the left side of the fresco, we find the episode illustrating the healing of the cripple, sitting on the ground and stretching out his hand to receive alms. The figure of Peter is immediately recognizable. He is a vigorous and solemn man with white hair and beard, wrapped in the typical golden yellow robe. The apostle at his side could be John, depicted as a young, blonde and graceful man, and characterized by the golden halo. To the right of the fresco, we see the episode of the resurrection of Tabitha, the miracle that Peter performed for the benefit of this pious woman, loved by all her fellow citizens for the many acts of charity she habitually performed. Peter is standing by a house. He raises his hand in blessing by the bed on which Tabitha lies. She has just opened her eyes and sat up, full of wonder. The woman is wrapped in the sheet with which the body of the deceased was generally wrapped during the wake that preceded the rite of burial. Around her, relatives and friends who have come together to mourn her passing, all highly expressive figures, portrayed with a vivid and eloquent body language. Observe the amazed expressions on the faces and the rash reaction to the miracle that has just taken place. In the square at the center, Two men in stylish contemporary clothes connect the two miracles, which gives us the sense of an almost normal occurrence in the town. The setting is an authentic Florentine piazza. It may in fact have been a projection of Piazza della Signoria. If one chooses to see in the portico of the temple, on the left, the Gothic traits of the Loggia dell'Orcagna, or those of any traditional patrician loggia. A memoir and synthesis of the Florentine architecture of the time are also found in the houses in the background that perfectly match the medieval canons of construction, as well as the detail of the pavement which creates a boundary between the piazza and the main road. Further evidence recounts the everyday life that must have taken place inside the home. Vases on the windowsills, or laundry hanging out to dry, the cages with birds, monkeys tied to a leash on the cornices, people looking out to exchange small talk between one window and another, 